So the other thing that needs to be pointed out, uh, which everybody knows, is that Fuchs's rules are not actually Palestrina style rules. What? There's no Palestrina. Wait They're, a second. Oh, no. Say that again. Say that again, because everybody <laughs> that's what everyone thinks, Fuchs right? Is, I, I don't know what everyone <laughs> <laughs> I Sorry, know, I everyone. thought I thought that he was a. Well, Fuchs's, I think the the, the general lady, he's a codification of is a neo Palestrina style, but it connects okay. to Palestrina, so, right? It, it's. I think the key word there is neo, because there are some rules in Fuchs that are go against the real Palestrina style. So if you use Fuchs and you think you're writing Palestrina, you're not. And that's a, a, oh. something that I think has been. Uh, so wow. Don't use that book. Don't use that book to write Palestrina. I see. But you're, but you're right that the book had legs, and one of the reasons it had legs is that it, it did lead to for people who were writing tonal music, it made it possible to integrate Fuchs's uh, exercises. And so it's true. Haydn had a copy of this book from which he taught Beethoven briefly. And Mozart, Mozart had used a copy? Mozart used well. I don't know if he had a copy, but he used Fuchsian, Fuchsian Cantus Firmus's for teaching Thomas Atwood. And as you said, there are classes in North America that still use that book. It's amazing right. since since it isn't a hundred percent accurate. Like in the Renaissance, they learned first the word counterpoint in the Renaissance means improvised counterpoint and Fuchs is already he's thrown that out he's really telling wow. you how to, how to write very thoughtful music leading to composition whoa that's that's oh <laughs> that's incredible that's interesting that's it's interesting, very interesting that people i think one of the themes that that i'm going to try to talk about is that people um people everybody interprets the past according to their own purpose so Fuchs's purpose actually was to talk to his audience. He wanted to teach them to do um, things that were going to be useful to them. And pa real Palestrina style wouldn't have been. And real improvisation wouldn't have been useful. So everybody adapts uh, what they're doing with the historical materials. And you kind of bend it out of shape a little bit.